Hi, everybody. This is Harold Weber, the dog. We're broadcasting live from Geneva, New York, from the Geneva Boxing Club. Tim and Michelle Hill have been great hosts, and I'm in the middle of a couple of good fighters. The Hammer to my left, Nick Brinson to my right, and Nick and his brother Tony, along with the Hammer, will be competing coming up in a couple of weeks. They'll be going down to Buffalo on Saturday, June 18th at the Burt Flickinger Center. Fighting action will start at 7.30. Uh, tickets are $30, starting at $30, and you can contact Michelle Hill, who will be more than glad to get you those tickets and get you the opportunity to buy some tickets. Michelle's phone number is 315-719-1749. Just to briefly tell you about the Hammer here to my left. Hammer is 2-0 with two first-round knockouts. You have to be pretty impressed, Hammer. Yeah. You don't work too too long in the ring, then, it sounds like. No, not yet. <laughs> really. Tell our uh, viewers a little bit when you started boxing, what age? I started boxing when I was eight years old. It was like a little elementary school for me. Now, now I'm at college, basically, professional. You're doing a professional side of it, and uh, what intrigued you about boxing? Just the competitiveness, the, the fact you could get out with a little rumbling in the ring? And, what got you involved in the first place? It's not even the rubbing or the fighting or the aggression. It's just that <laughs> it's like any other sport. I feel good when I'm in the ring and I feel like I'm by myself and I feel like I can just have fun, you know, without any worries. <laughs> as far as the pro ranks and the, uh, the higher end right now, uh, of course, I'm a big fan of Manny Pacquiao's. Do yeah. uh, you have any idols? Do you have any big favorites of yours that you yeah. enjoy watching, competing? Um, Sugar Shane, he's a little old right now. Of course, my favorite was Roy Jones and Mayweather, but he, I don't know where he at right now. <laughs> but, yeah, that's about it. Ali, I get a lot of training moves from him. Well, let me ask you before I turn my attention to Nick, uh, what would you tell somebody who's watching this morning or this afternoon, depending on what time this goes on the air, what would you tell a young aspiring person that wants to get into boxing? What would you give them? What kind of advice would you give them? Be prepared for a, to work out and to do some endurance and to really get ready for a, a long struggle, right? Uh, Prepare for doing um, two sessions in one box in one box and practice because we we practice hard. Um, you're gonna need a lot of breath and a lot of water <laughs> and a lot of motivation to be in here, plus a lot of heart and determination. Because without that, you're not gonna be able to be a boxer. You're just gonna be someone someone just spar with and knock out for the fun of it. <laughs> so if you wanna <laughs> if you wanna box, you gotta think over it seriously. You're watching Weber on Sports Express. We're broadcasting live from the Geneva Boxing Club. And, of course, Nick Brinson is uh, to my right. Nick, you have a record of 7-1-1. One, and one, and you'll be taking on a young man named Michael Walchuk coming up in uh, in a couple of weeks. What do you know about him at all? Uh, I know he's crafty. I've seen some films on him on, on YouTube and stuff. So, I mean, I know that he's been the distance a couple times. So he's going to be there at the final bell. So i got to prepare for that you know, mentally and physically. So I got my endurance way up, and I'm ready to go. And what would you tell our viewers uh, to a young person that wants to get into boxing for a living? You would just say that they've really got to suck it up and put the time and effort and the, and the pain into it. You you got to really want to do it. You got to you know have heart and like Hammer was saying, determination. And you got to have a mental state of doing this because it's not it's not a game in that way. You know, there's somebody coming at you and trying to hurt you. So if you want to box, you got to really really want to do it. I should point out, Amber, I failed to mention that your opponent will be Rakeem Carter. Yeah. What do you know about him? Nothing at all. <laughs> I just know if he faces me, he, he got to be tough. Or, like I said the first time, he must have a lot of heart and determination. Uh, I don't know much about him, never heard about him, never seen him fight. I don't know how tall, what he looked like or anything, but I know. <laughs> when you get in here in this ring, you'll react accordingly. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, back to you again. Let me ask you about uh, your idols as far as my favorite boxer is Manny Pacquiao. Who's your favorite fighter? I got I got the Manny Pacquiao collection. I got collections of all types of fighters. My, growing up, it was Sugar Shane. Uh, young Shane Mosley, when he was lightweight, you know, fast and you know, powerful, he knocked out pretty much everybody he fought. So that kind of got me into boxing. Oscar De La Hoya, um, Mike Tyson, uh, Roy Jones. Those guys, I also like, you know, the, the throwback fight, the Sugar Ray Leonard and, you know, Ray Robinson and, and Jake Lamont. So, you know, those guys also inspire me too. I should, I should tell you and uh, 
I should tell you and Hammer, years ago, I used to go watch uh, Mike Tyson on pay-per-view. And the trouble is, you'd pay 30 bucks and he'd be over in about 12 problem. seconds. <laughs> and uh, that wasn't really getting your money worth, yeah. but uh, he was quite a boxer. And uh, uh, I should point out that we're at the Geneva, the boxing club here in Geneva, New York, beautiful Geneva, New York. And what a fantastic club uh, that Michelle and Tim run here. It's just phenomenal. And I uh, need to point out, Tim talked to me off camera, that boxing clubs... There are some in the area. There are three in Rochester, two in Syracuse, one in Elmira, and one in Ithaca. And I should point out that Geneva Boxing Club has been around since October 1999. So truly we're looking at 12 years of existence. And uh, I know you guys could speak volumes about how important a club like this is. Right, yeah, Hammer? I definitely could. So, you know, I just want to remind you guys, and certainly I should point out that your brother, Tony Brinson, who couldn't make the interview, he's a 2-0 record, and he's going to be taking on a young man named Julius Bunda, and I'm sure you wish your brother the best of luck as well. Yeah, he, he's, you know, he fights similar to me, and, you know, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure he's going to do well in his fight. Um, I know he wanted to be here, but, you know, he's caught up right now. But. That's all right. Well, listen, guys, I just want to remind everybody, June 18th, folks, please check it out. Boxing, baby, these guys are ready to rumble. Saturday, that'll be Saturday, June 18th in Buffalo, New York at the Burt Flickinger Center. Action gets underway at 7.30. Tickets start at 30 bucks, and call Michelle Hill. Again, Michelle's number is 315-719-1749. It's been a pleasure for Weber on Sports Express to come. Thanks for having us. Thank no you. problem. Thank you. All right, guys, good luck to you. That's a look at sports. My way.